Welcome to Prophecy Today. We do this every Wednesday live from our studios at Global Awakening. And I am so glad that you guys are joining us. We saw people already logging in in the chat to be able to comment back and forth, forth with us. And so we encourage you over the course of the next hour to please put your name and where you're watching from in the chat. We also encourage you, if you have a word of encouragement for someone else, put it in the chat. It needs to line up with scripture. It needs to be edifying and uplifting, but we empower you to be a blessing to mm -hmm. others today. If you see someone that needs prayer, just write a short prayer in there as well. And we have a team of people in our studio that will be helping chat to be praying for you and give you prophetic words as well. So feel free to put your name and where you're watching from in the chat. I'm Catherine Burnett with the partner team. I have Rachel Myers with us and Riesa Petruzzi. They're all on the team here and we are so honored to be with you guys. Rachel, would you tell us just a little bit about what God has been talking to you about vision for this coming year? For vision for this year, I feel like actually I got a word that said, if he called you, uh, I will find joy in it. And so um, that's what I'm pressing into for vision this year. Uh, I also have health on my vision board for this year. That's um, body, soul, spirit, and community. So what I'm asking myself every day is, uh, what does a healthy person do in this situation? Um, whether that be relationally, what it, whether that be... Uh, emotionally, spiritually, uh, with food even. Um, so those are some of the things I'm pressing into, but that word specifically about joy, um, if he called me to it, then I will find joy in it because when there's joy, there's strength to keep pushing through. And so um, the joy of the Lord is our strength, right? So the more that I find joy, the more that I press into it, the more that I um, choose to laugh at the schemes of the enemy over my life, um, the more uh, strength I have to pursue what the Lord has actually called me to. And so those are just a few of the things that I'm pressing into for vision for this year. Uh, I just encourage you guys, anybody who has been filling out the vision form that we have for you, uh, we would love to hear some of what you guys put on your vision boards for this year. I know we're going to be talking about that a little bit more um, today and if you haven't gotten it yet there's still time hey it's still January it's still the first month of the year you can sure uh, jump in uh, we have the the uh, downloadable form for you and the QR code below and uh, we would love you to join to come alongside us and join us on this um, vision visioneering yes so vision thing. Vision casting vision, for the year, vision. not yes. just for the year, but for the next season of your mm -hmm. walk with the Lord. And, you know, it's important to lay out vision because that helps the Lord order our steps. And so we know where to stay true and where to stay on track with what the Lord has for us. So we're excited. We've painted vision for even this live stream for this next year. Our team has got together and prayed mm -hmm. on what it looks like to challenge you, to equip you guys to walk into more of what God has for you. So I'm excited. So we are going to be praying for words of knowledge. For That means for healing. That's a word of the Lord for you in a moment to know that he is wanting to highlight something because he's wanting to heal it or minister to you directly. So we've got words mm -hmm. of knowledge. We're going to be praying for healing. We're going to be giving prophetic words. And so I'm just excited to be here over this next hour. All right. To kick it off, I've got a word for Bethany Keeney. Uh, Bethany, I saw a picture of kind of this swirl of just heavenly activity around you. And um, I just kind of see the Lord like picking you up, like even in the spirit. And I see him like picking you up out of the current circumstances. And I feel like he's just in, in the natural, maybe there's a swirl, but the Lord is bringing you into this heavenly place of rest. And um, I feel like the Lord is just saying that you're going to access this place through just kind of leaning back. Leaning back is what I hear. Um, so I feel like it's even very practical. As you go throughout your day, you might suddenly start to feel that pressure of like things swirling around you. Um, but just even use that phrase as like a catchphrase and just say, lean back. I'm going to lean back into the love of the Lord in this moment. And as you just kind of lean back into his arms, I see him like catching you up into this place of peace. And I'm hearing just um, Psalm 23 over you. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. And he's going to lead you into pastures of his peace in this season. But you're going to access those places 
places of peace, even in the midst of circumstances that might not feel peaceful, you're going to learn how to access his peace in the midst of those places. So I bless you, Bethany, and I bless what the Holy Spirit is doing in your life in Jesus' name. Yes, and Shalom Lee, I saw your name come through and it says, I need a now word. And I felt like I heard the Lord say, I'm never outwitted. Like your now word, I know outwitted is a compound word, but um, now, never outwitted. And I felt like the Lord is saying that he is wisdom, he is revelation, he has a plan and a strategy and a solution for whatever you're facing. And, and don't look to man, don't look to situations around you for the answers because he is never outwitted, he is never confused, he is never without an answer and he actually has a solution for you in your situation even your next steps and what you're supposed to do so just lean into the spirit of wisdom as the holy spirit is going to give you counsel That's so good um i actually had somebody already asking for um prayer over their hip and that's actually i had a word of knowledge for um hip problems uh left or right uh and so i'm just going to pray for you right now when the lord highlights something with a word of knowledge that just means that he sees you and he wants to heal it and so right now if you have hit problems just put it in the chat we would love to pray for you so lord we just thank you for your goodness we thank you for your kindness towards us lord we thank you um that you are more than enough for every situation, Lord, we thank you that you heal hips right now. Um, you restore cartilage, you restore bones, you restore um, every part and piece of the hip right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, we just thank you that we can lay down bitterness and anxiety right now in the name of Jesus. We just lay down bitterness, we lay down unforgiveness, and Lord, we thank you for your healing over our hips right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, David and Monica from Oregon. Um, I heard the Lord say that you are called to break the poverty spirit, to break cycles of poverty. And um, I even feel like there is just financial breakthrough that is being released to you. So right now in Jesus name, I bless your finances and I ask Holy Spirit for just a release of any finances that they need in Jesus mighty name. Um, but more than, um, I feel like the Lord is saying that more than the current circumstances, he's giving you a gift of faith for finances mm -hmm. and that you're actually called to see cycles of poverty broken off of other people. So I just, I bless you, David and Monica, and I bless the calling on your life to actually bring people into, um, into a place of kingdom finance and kingdom business. I, I also just bless um, business on your life in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, and I'm going to tag on to that as David and Monica. Uh -huh. Okay, David and Monica, I actually heard the Lord say that you have a breaker anointing in the area mm -hmm. of finances, that mm -hmm. you actually can break through. I actually saw a picture of a dam, like the big Hoover Dam that holds back the water. And I felt like the Lord was saying the breaker anointing breaks through the barriers breaks through what's damming up the flow of the anointing for finances what's breaking up the provision of heaven you actually have that anointing and the pressure that you're feeling right now is the, a scheme of the enemy to get you to shrink back to get you to to um, withdraw from actually the call of God on your life but the Lord is going to partner with you in this next season to give you um, strategies and tools on how to break up the barriers because it's actually going to be part of your ministry ministry. You're going to teach other people how to break through the obstacles mm -hmm. that they're facing. And so what looks like now is a, a, a powerful an assignment of the enemy um, over your finances. It's actually an opportunity for you to partner with the Lord to learn the strategies of breakthrough in finances that you will teach and minister to other people down the road. Amen. Yeah, that's so good. Um, John said, uh, good morning. And I actually heard uh, the word imprint over you. And I feel like the Lord is actually um, calling you deeper. I feel like uh, you're like a little duckling that's imprinting on the Father. And so I just bless uh, that process. I bless that wherever you go, you can know that he is ever in front of you. Uh, he is ever before you. He is ever going before you. He is making the way right now. And so I bless you, John, to be that little duckling imprinting on Father God. Amen. 
um, Jonathan and Jackie Roberts. I started to hear this song, um, I think it's by Crowder, it's Crushing Snakes. And um, I just heard the Lord say, crushing snakes and that you have a deliverance anointing on your life. And I heard him say that the gift of discernment is increasing over your lives and over your family um, in this season, that the Lord is actually going to give you um, even just like, um, I feel like you're going to be able to see more clearly what's really going on in the spiritual realm. So I just bless um, that gift of discernment. I pray, Lord, for just an increase of discernment, an impartation of discernment, being able to see um, what's really happening in the spiritual realm. And I ask, Lord, for even just an increase um, for that deliverance ministry, Lord. I feel like God's just going to start to bring you people who are in need of deliverance, and he's going to give you keys. Um, I see these keys actually dropping that as you just... Um, engage with the Holy Spirit just when you're praying for someone just be dialoguing with the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit what do you want to do in this moment and I see these keys dropping and as you like release these keys I see chains falling off of people so Jonathan and Jackie I bless you and I just bless this call to see the captive set free in Jesus name Yes, and Dorothy, you said you need new knees, new kneecaps, and new cartilage. Well, I want to pray for you. We have testimonies of so many knees being healed. Mm -hmm. um, we had someone at our Greater Things Conference that had had two knee replacements, and both her knees got completely restored and healed. So mm -hmm. by faith right now, Dorothy, I want you to put your hands on your knees, and I'm going to pray for you. And anyone else watching that has issues mm -hmm. with their knees, if you would, by faith, do the same thing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for releasing your healing power in to knees right now. Every cartilage, every um, every form of muscle, tendon, ligament, Lord, we ask that you would restore it to its original design. Lord, we break off any assignment of um, the spirit of infirmity over knees. Any arthritis must go. And Lord, we thank you for new knees now in Jesus' name. Amen. I receive Amen. it for myself. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> we get ministry here too. Yes. We're encouraged. And so we love encouraging you guys. It is fun for us. We had some testimonies come in this week that I'll share in a little bit, but we encourage you to put your testimony in, put it in the chat or email us at mm -hmm. testimonies at globalawakening.com. If you feel the fire of the Holy Spirit, if you feel like a tingling in your hands or your feet, if you feel fire, just let us know. It encourages us and then we can just comment on what the Lord is doing. Yeah. And also I wanted to remind you that, uh, the Lord is not um, a respecter of persons, meaning that he has more than enough for each and every one of us. So if we call out a name and it's not yours, but we're ministering to the thing that you need in your life, we just invite you to take that by faith that you can pull on it, that, that the Lord has so much resources for us, so many resources for us, and he wants to do it for you too, because he is a good God. And so um, I just wanted to bless you with that, um, to receive all that he has for you in this broadcast this hour um, this week and so um, going into that I actually feel like there's somebody on right now that's actually been so um, depressed and they feel like they've been forgotten by everyone around them maybe that's your family maybe that's your community maybe that's your church maybe that's um, that you just feel so forgotten and I just want to encourage you that the Lord has not forgotten you that there's no place uh, that you can go where the Lord cannot reach you. Uh, I'm just reminded, David said, um, where can I go mm -hmm. to escape from you? Nowhere. There's nowhere that you can go. And so I just wanted to bless you right now. I want, um, I want you to just um, lean into the Lord right now and uh, pull on that little bit of hope. Lord, we just thank you for hope rising in these people right now in the name of Jesus. Hope arise hope arise. Um, Lord, I just thank you for how you're actually bringing community around the, these people right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for um, that you have not forgotten them, that you have see them in every moment and you are with them in the darkest of places. And so we just praise your name right now that you see, that you know, and that you actually have a plan for us. So we bless you with that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, I'm just really feeling the Lord's heart for some people on here today. You know, um, we're talking about vision for 2024, and I feel like there are a lot of people on who have like um, health goals for 2024. I saw some comments about just needing breakthrough um, in the area of just relationship with eating and food, and um, I just um, saw a picture 
of a tree and that um, kind of the fruit of the tree was like um, struggles with, with food, your relationship with food, but at the root of the tree was actually shame. And that the Lord actually wants to come in with an ax today and just, re um, just release that shame that's actually causing you to um, kind of self uh, self-sabotage in the in your relationship with food and I actually see um, I hear the the verse that the Lord is taking the root to the axe to the root of the tree of shame today and so right now in Jesus mighty name I just take authority over any spirit of shame um, that is causing um, addiction specifically um, food addictions or eating disorders right now in Jesus' mighty name. And I ask, Holy Spirit, would you take the ax to the root of shame, spirit of shame, leave the people of God right now in Jesus' mighty name. And I ask, Holy Spirit, that you would just release the love of the Father into every place where shame has lived. And I thank you, Lord, that you are just completely um, taking out that root system and that they're going to see new fruit bearing in their life because the fruit's gonna come from the place of the Father's love. The fruit's not gonna come from the root of shame anymore. So we declare breakthrough, breakthrough over um, eating disorders. And I'm also hearing panic attacks, breakthrough over panic attacks as well that are rooted in shame. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I, I what I've got is along those lines with some inner healing here. And I feel like the Lord is doing a reset on vision. And in order to see clearly where we're going, we've got to cut off a few things that have been lingering in the background. And so shame would be one of those. And what I was hearing was um, unforgiveness, where it's actually affecting your physical body. And it's actually affecting your your joints, like mm -hmm. arthritis, your bones, osteoporos osteoporosis. And I feel like there is, if you ask the Lord, he is going to bring to mind names that you need to release and forgive. Because forgiveness is actually a blessing. It's a tool from the Lord for us to be able to have our heart healed. And, and that's what forgiveness is. It heals our heart. It sets us free. And God is wanting to bring healing in the area of arthritis to someone watching. And God is inviting inviting you into a place to forgive those that have wronged you. Mm -hmm. So I want to pray for you. If the Lord is just pricking your heart, you know there's unforgiveness for people yeah. in your past that have done things that were unjust, immoral, not right. It is an opportunity to supernaturally have your heart healed, but also get healing in your body that you are believing for in this year. And it actually is based in unforgiveness. So right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just lift up everyone watching that is dealing with unforgiveness. Lord, I ask Holy Spirit that you would minister to the area of their heart where this um, the root of unforgiveness has lived for so long. I ask that you would just um, give them the, the want to, to want to forgive. Mm -hmm. Lord, that the power of the Holy Spirit, the grace of the Holy Spirit would come. Lord, and I thank you that as they forgive, Lord, that you're touching bodies now, that you're healing arthritis, you're healing joints, and you're strengthening bones in the name of Jesus. So good. Um, I actually see backs being strengthened right now. Uh, so we just thank you, Lord, for backs being healed, backs being strengthened, backs being aligned right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you uh, just along the same lines as Catherine was talking about. Um, just as you forgive, I just feel like your backs are going to be straightened uh, before the Lord. And so we thank you for uh, cartilage to be healed, for discs to be healed right now in the name of Jesus, um, for bones um, and ligaments to align right now, for your spinal cord to align, any pinched spinal cord, um, be unpinched in Jesus' name, be straightened and aligned. We say no pain to your spinal cord or back right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, I was just hearing the Lord say that he wants to heal cavities today. Um, I feel like um, I'm feeling like this stabbing pain in my upper um, back left molar. So if you have a stabbing pain in that tooth, but any cavities, um, I just want to pray for that. And as well as um, I was feeling like, um, like a cyst in someone's wrist. I'm also hearing a cyst in the ankle. Um, and maybe that's also causing pain. Um, if those words of knowledge apply to you, just um, receive by faith right now. Um, thank you, Lord. 
um, for healing cavities right now in Jesus name I command cavities be healed I command all um, pain in teeth right now to go in Jesus name also Lord I speak to all painful cysts in the ankles and in the wrists right now cysts go right now in Jesus mighty name we also had a word of knowledge from one of our team members of someone who um, has fallen recently and hit their elbow and maybe it's caused bruising or um, it's causing a lot of ongoing pain or complications. So right now I just speak healing to that elbow as well right now in Jesus' mighty name. And there was a, I think it was Padge, P-A-D-G-E, on earlier and you had just said prayers for a CT scan that's coming up. And in that, I felt like there was a intense attack of fear against you, against your mind, like a tormenting fear with the upcoming um, test. And so I just want to pray for peace over you, but I also want to pr pray for healing over any digestive issues and that the, you'll see the hand of God just say that, you know, there's nothing there. And so even as you sleep, that you're going to be healed is what I'm believing for. So Padge, in the name of Jesus right now, we just come against any assignment that would come to torment you, um, that would come to bombard, bombard your thoughts, Lord. And we just thank you for peace over them now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for an alignment and even a reconstructive nature of their digestive tract, their whole system, Lord, a balance in the pH levels, Lord, and that you would heal them as they sleep in Jesus' name. Yeah, um, I actually had a word for anybody wearing red. I just got the color red, and then I heard the song Drip, Drip, Drop, a little April shower. Uh, and I feel like the Lord is actually wanting to do something fresh, like uh, after a fresh spring rain, that it just feels like, it's like everything has been washed clean. And so I just actually, you know, we're talking about vision today uh, a little more. And I just felt like there was um, a washing of a perspective, fresh vision over you, um, fresh perspective, fresh anointing, fresh impartation for you uh, specifically. And so if you're wearing red in particular, um, I just feel a freshness over you. And so I bless you with that in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to circle back around. Um, I'm still really feeling the Lord like heavy on if you've been struggling with panic attacks and I'm also hearing heart palpitations. Um, so right now in Jesus mighty name, I take authority over just any attack of the enemy of fear and panic and I'm hearing terror any spirit of terror leave in Jesus mighty name Lord would you just release the fire of God right now to burn up every spirit of fear that has been tormenting anything of the enemy that has been causing heart palpitations just take authority over any device of the enemy causing heart palpitations go right now in Jesus mighty name I release the shalom peace of heaven over people's hearts and I command um, even arrhythmia to be healed right Right now in Jesus name hearts come into alignment right now with the heartbeat of heaven and with the peace of heaven in Jesus mighty name yeah and I don't know if there's a John or Jonathan watching um, and you're married there's challenges in your marriage and I feel like I saw the Lord come down and just rework things in your marriage. There's a strain on relationships. There's actually been uh, your wife sees things one way, you say things another, and there's been no common ground. And I feel like the Lord is saying that he's restoring, that he's bringing, it's almost like there's been a hardness of heart um, with your, your spouse. And the Lord is softening her heart, that he's bringing her back to um, like due north and that he's going to be rebuilding and restoring your marriage. And so I just want to encourage encourage you if that's a John or Jonathan watching mm -hmm. the Lord is at work in your marriage and that he is restoring things he's softening hearts and he's he's building um, laying a strong foundation in your marriage mm -hmm. yeah a uh, bow hunter I saw you on earlier and I heard Psalm 24 lift up your heads that the king of glory may come in and so um, I just bless you with that I bless you with the um, with the lifting of your head. Uh, even now, uh, I feel like there's been times where you're like focused on what the Lord has actually put before you and you've been looking down and focused because um, that's all you can do right now. But I actually feel like the Lord is saying, lift up your heads, it's time to look up and see how far you've, you've come. And 
Psalm 24, I actually have it right in front of me. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. And so I bless you with that, bow hunter. Amen. Uh, Bjorn Asmus, um, I saw your email come through this morning to testimonies. So thank you yes, so much thank you. for emailing us and sharing your testimony with us. And I just want to pray over you, Bjorn. I, I heard the Lord say that he is just filling your house with um, with God's presence, with angels. And I heard him singing um, the Brandon Lake song, House of Miracles, over your house. So I even just declare, Bjorn, that your house is a house of miracles. Your house is a house of the presence of God and of prophetic dreams. So right now, in Jesus' name, I bless Bjorn's house. I bless his family. I, I pray for the move of the Holy Spirit in their family and especially over their dreams in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, would you just sweep through that house, just cleanse it with the blood of Jesus of anything not of you. And I ask, Lord, that um, they would experience just, um, just encounters with the Holy Spirit, even as they gather as a family to pray and worship, that they would um, encounter you in new ways. I pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in their home in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, Simeon Clark, I saw you on. It's awesome to have you with us today. Uh, I actually saw you as a Mordecai, and I saw you as one that would not bow. I feel like there's, um, like Mordecai was one who would not bow to corruption in his um, line of government. And so I believe that you've actually been called to some sort of government. I'm not sure what that looks like, uh, but I just bless you that you will not bow to the schemes of the enemy. You will not bow to corruption and you will be honored. Uh, he was honored by the king. And so I just bless you to be honored by King Jesus in Jesus name. Yeah, and Simeon, I have a word for you. I actually saw you in a cocoon, almost like the Lord was protecting you. And I feel like this year that the Lord is, is um, in a season where he's protecting you. He's actually has you in a, in a place to be able to hear him even better. And I think that as you look back on this year, you're going to see where the Lord's hand was on your life, where he was shaping your perspective. He was um, shifting the paradigm of who you thought you were and where you thought the Lord was taking you. And it's going to be this year is going to be a marker year for you. You're going to be able to look back in 10 years and say, this year marked me. So I believe that the Lord is developing something in you. I believe that there's character are being developed. I believe that there is vision and um, insight into the things of the Lord being developed in you in this year. And so know that he's got his hand on you. That is actually a divine appointment this year with the Lord. Amen. And Simeon, um, I see a picture of you with a guitar. Um, and I don't, I don't know if you play guitar, but um, I heard the Lord say that you actually have a very sweet voice. Um, to actually, I feel like he's going to give you confidence to sing out loud and to be heard um, singing. And I heard him saying that there is a breaker anointing on your voice as well. And I feel like he's going to start downloading songs to you. He, he's saying that you have a heart like David, the heart of a poet and a warrior. So I bless your voice, Simeon. I bless the music anointing on your life, your creative anointing. I pray for increase and increased grace even to um, learn just musical skills in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, and there was a carry on earlier that asked for prayer for your kids. And I just want to pray Isaiah 54 over your family. And if you are watching and you're believing for your kids, I'm just take this for you. Isaiah 54, 13 says, All your children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. So, Lord, we just lift up Carrie's kids and anyone else watching that has children. Lord, we ask that you would just protect them, that you draw them back to the heart of the Father. Lord, that they would have encounters with you. Lord, that the goodness of God would draw them to the repentance. Lord, in any hidden thing in secret, that they may be doing, Lord, we ask that you would reveal it. So, Lord, we thank you for your protection over these kids We in your hand on their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I have a word of knowledge for someone with um, problems with their feet. I especially thought uh, toes or the balls of your feet, and it kind of feels like fire. Like every time you walk, um, it just feels like a shooting fireball. <laughs> and so, uh, Lord, we just thank you for your healing power over feet right now in the name of Jesus. We pray um, all nerve endings be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, all 
pain or numbness go right now in the name of Jesus and all um, shooting pains, all fiery <laughs> pain in your feet go right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. Rose Nduda, um, you prayed for uh, or you asked to have prayer for business. And I um, heard the Lord calling you a builder, and I saw him um, put a construction hat on your head, and I saw him like unroll, I actually saw an angel unroll this big blueprint in front of you. So I, I just believe that the Lord is giving you heavenly blueprints for the business that you're called to build, and I just bless your business right now in Jesus, my, Jesus' name. I call it forth in Jesus' name. And I even feel, Rose, that the Lord wants you to partner with him to um, out loud call this business forth. Um, that's actually something that heaven is releasing and I see you even like reaching out like you're reaching for the hem of Jesus's garment and you're you're pulling it you're pulling it into the now and I feel like it's it's like a violent act and I'm hearing that the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force and that the Lord is actually stirring up this kind of tenacity um, inside of you to just um, break past every obstacle that would try to come against you to start this business and I hear the Lord saying that it's it's more than you realize that the impact Impact is going to be greater than you realize and so to just have faith in, in in the face of any giants that try to rear up and stop you from birthing this business that the Lord is going to give you the faith to overcome those giants so I bless you Rose I bless your business in Jesus mighty name yeah and I heard um, there's a new day dawning and I don't know who it's for um, I also saw a picture of a yellow shirt, so I don't know if the person that's wearing the yellow shirt, this is for you, but um, I feel like, yeah, you're wearing yellow, but I feel <laughs> like there is a new day dawning for some of you, that there's been a season of heaviness, there's been a season of discouragement, and it's almost like when you've been trying to get ahead, you can't, and I feel like the Lord is saying it's a new day dawning for you. At the start of this year, it's a new day for you. Don't look to what was. God is doing something new, and so I just want to encourage you, if that feels like you, if you've been just trying to claw to get your way ahead and then you're pulled back again it's like the lord is saying there's a new day coming it's not going to be the same as it was before that's so good um i have a word for um i i got two names actually uh kale and also jake uh and i heard joshua 1 9 over you have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go and I just um, was drawn to the beginning of that, have I not commanded you? And I uh, just feel like there's that verse uh, is for you uh, because there's actually parts of you that you feel like you're not courageous, that you feel um, like you're not that guy. But I actually want to let you know that you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you and he is courage and he is um, all of these things and so therefore you are. Um, so that is actually part of your identity that you can, um, you are a man of courage. Uh, and so I just bless you right now with that verse, uh, Jake or Kale, um, that you will um, go wherever he has commanded you. And Brie Erilyn, um, I saw the Lord putting this covering over your heart. And I, I saw him actually drawing you into this hidden place. Um, and I feel like the Lord just wants to encourage you that if you're feeling maybe invisible to some people right now, it's actually the Lord's hand of protection over you. I see like you in this place, um, you know, like when a seed is in the ground and it's actually um, just developing, it's putting down roots, it's actually hidden. And the Lord is just growing your roots so deep in this season. He's growing your roots so deep in Christ in this season and the love of God in this season and he's actually he's protecting something he doesn't really want you to be super visible right now and so I just break off any discouragement that's come um, even from the enemy just lying to you about um, why you're invisible um, and just know that it's the, the father's the father's love for you I feel the father's love for you so strong he um, he is very protective over you he's jealous for you so I bless you Bree and I pray even right now Lord for just a, a fresh baptism of the father's love and that you would continue to do that deep work in the secret place in her heart in Jesus name
Yeah, I, actually, I have a word for Brie as well. Um, I actually heard it's planting season, and I actually saw you going up and down uh, the rows of a field planting. And so I, I just bless this planting season over you. Uh, it's one of a it's a great time of the year. It's springtime uh, and it's time to grow things. And so I just see you scattering seed wherever you go. And so I bless you with that in the name of Jesus. And we have some opportunities coming up for you. I know that there's a lot of people that have asked for prayers for the business. We have a business conference coming in a little over two weeks. It's our first one ever. It is mm -hmm. going to be off the charts. Mm -hmm. We've got Randy Clark, Joanne Moody, Leif Hetland, Andy Mason there. We are going to have live times of impartation. The speakers are going to lay hands on you, impart, and as well as prophetic ministry from our students. We have question and answer panels. We've got vision casting sessions. You're going to want to get signed up. Look at the link, get signed up, come join us at our headquarters. Our whole team will be there. We would love yes. to meet you. It's going to be a powerful time, a fresh encounter with Holy Spirit. And I had a word for... Um, Someone wearing a purple sweater. I actually saw it was like a cable knit purple sweater. And I feel like, I don't know if you're watching now or you will be watching, but I feel like the Lord is just saying that you are a jewel, that you are just such a blessing to him, that you're uniquely crafted, you're uniquely designed, and he actually is going to use you for kingdom purposes, that you felt maybe that you haven't been utilized with your giftings and talents, but I feel like the Lord's saying he's going to use you for kingdom purposes and that your life matters. And so I just bless you with that. Man, I'm feeling like a stabbing pain in my right eardrum and it's kind of like a whoop 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 sound as well kind of like maybe even an underwater sound um so right now in jesus name i speak to that eardrum to be healed maybe even any perforated eardrum be healed right now in jesus mighty name um, i command hearing to be fully restored as well and in jesus name i also take authority over tinnitus i command that ringing to stop right now by the power and authority of jesus i thank you lord that you are are just um, releasing um, ear aches as well, maybe even frequent infections that are causing frequent ear infections. I just break that assignment right now. Any ailment in the ears right now, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And Brian, you said you're going to be joining us at Reading Bethel next week. I'll be there. I would love to meet you. We're going to be out in Reading next week for the healing school. So it's going to be a powerful time. Um, anytime we get to meet you guys at conferences, it's just a blessing. We pray for you throughout the week. So we are just honored when we get to meet you in person. But Aubrey, 11-year-old um, Aubrey, you join us weekly. And I think you must have just had a birthday because I believe you were 10 here and not too terribly long ago. <laughs> so we just want to pray for you for healing over your body that you wouldn't even have to have surgery, that you would have complete healing. So right now, Lord, we just stand together in faith for Aubrey, for her situation. Lord, that you would restore all of the systems of her body, everything, Lord, that has um, caused, has seen trauma, has seen damage, or has not formed correctly. Lord, we ask it for a creative miracle in her body wholeness over her body, that you would minister to her heart, her mind, and her body now. Lord, that there would be a touch of the Holy Spirit in her room right now, in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth created, I actually saw the word joy just pop up over you, and uh, I saw that you're needing healing in your neck, and I actually felt like as you dance for joy with the Lord that you will be healed. And so I just bless you right now to be healed from your neck. Um, all the all the joint pain, all the muscle pain, all the tension go right now in Jesus name. And uh, Lord, we just thank you that she will dance with joy. Amen. I wanna pray for any students on here, um, either elementary, middle school, high school students or college students. And specifically what I felt like there are some of you who wake up um, for school every day with a pit of like dread in your stomach. And I heard the Lord say that he is replacing dread for joy, that he's actually going to fill you with so much joy and expectation to go to school um, because you're actually going to start to see um, the Lord move in your school. So in Jesus mighty name, I just take authority over that assignment of dread that's just trying to stop these students um, from from advancing the kingdom in their schools. And in Jesus' mighty name, I say 
dread go and I pray for the joy of the Lord to fill them that they would actually even right now feel a bubbling up of that spirit of joy inside of them the spirit of might inside of them be released in Jesus mighty name and I ask the Lord that you would give them boldness um, to pray for their uh, friends to pray for fellow students to share Jesus with people in their school I break every assignment of intimidation that has mm -hmm. been trying to shut them down and make them feel squashed and make them feel dread that that's actually not you that's the enemy who is terrified of the Lord inside of you. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you and the enemy is scared of that. And he's trying to shut you down with this feeling of heaviness and dread. So I break that assignment right now in Jesus' name and I ask Lord that you would just flood them right now with your joy in Jesus' name. Yeah, and every week we do this for an entire hour. If you're new to uh, the Wednesday Live, we just encourage you to put your name where you're watching from in the chat, and um, our team will be praying over you even throughout the week. But we have something new that we are excited to let you know about. Um, it is a new a discipleship course for new believers. So if you are just getting saved, this is for you. Riesa, would you just tell everyone just a little bit about the course? Yes, yeah, so we developed this course um, to help facilitate follow-up. Um, if you're out on the streets, you lead someone to the Lord. You know, sometimes that hardest step is actually seeing someone make um, make the transition to start attending church. And um, we developed this tool that you can actually save this link on your phone. It's newbeliever.globalawakening.com. So if you lead someone to the Lord or you know um, someone who is just starting their relationship with the Lord, they can go to this link, just um, pull it up with them and have them fill out the information right there. It'll just ask for their name, email, and phone number. And they'll automatically get enrolled in a six-week e-course that'll just um, get them grounded in um, what is salvation, who is the Holy Spirit, how to read the Bible. And they'll also um, start getting texts regularly to just encourage them in their faith with Bible verses, with prayer. So it's an amazing tool whether you're, um, you're um, out on the streets sharing the gospel or if you're on here and you have just started your relationship with the Lord or you're just curious about faith, then this is free for you. So go to newbeliever.globalawakening.com and you can actually start the course right now. Yeah, and we encourage you, if you have been a believer, don't go. It does cost us something, but we want to make it available for those that are just starting their journey with the Lord. Um, so we encourage you to share it with those that are new believers, share it with those that you get to lead to the Lord. It's an amazing, amazing tool that we just launched this week. So it is new. Go to Global Awakening Resources and you'll find it. Um, I saw a comment from, I, her, the handle is I love you, Lord. And I felt like there was areas of, of, that you felt like the Lord has, there's been a disappointment that maybe you feel like the Lord hasn't come through for you like you thought he would or he didn't come through for you in the way you thought it would look. And I just want to encourage you that the Lord is so good that you're going to start to see the weaving together of the plans of the Lord, even the things that you didn't think were handled the way you would wanted it to and in maybe the things that were. The Lord's going to start weaving it together for a complete picture of his faithfulness to you. So I love you, Lord. That one is for you. Yeah, Deborah, uh, I saw that you've lost your vision from both your eyes due to nerve damage. Uh, and so right now, in the name of Jesus, we declare full healing over the optic nerve over both of your eyes right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for complete, um, I actually just saw uh, the wiring uh, growing back together. So I just bless you with that in the name of Jesus. I declare full vision and full restoration over your vision right now in the name of Jesus, over your optic nerve, over um, the film in your eye, over um, any cataracts or glaucoma, where we just declare full healing over um, Deborah's physical eyes right now in the name of Jesus. And uh, we declare full vision over her um, spiritually as well. We declare hope arise in her vision right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Douglas W., um, I heard the Lord say that you have such a pastoral heart, um, and I heard him say that you also carry the spirit of wisdom, and I saw like this kind of this, this weight 
on your words. So like when you talk to people, I see them just leaning in that you really carry the heart of the Father. Um, and I see um, the Lord actually putting these spectacles on your eyes. And I hear him saying that they're like x-ray vision spectacles to actually see into people's hearts and to see actually the places of their hearts that they're even like masking um, from you, from others, and even from themselves. And they're actually places in their heart that that really need to encounter the love of the Father. And he's giving you the eyes to see those places and he's gonna give you the tools to even um, just walk them through inner healing. So I bless you, Douglas, in Jesus' name. I bless that pastoral anointing on your life and I pray for just increased um, vision, Lord, for him to be able to see um, past the those masks that are masking shame, that are masking fear, that he would be able to see what the Holy Spirit wants to do in people's hearts in Jesus' name. Yeah, and if you're just joining us, I encourage you to rewatch this recorded. There, I know there's some people asking for healing in hips and knees, and we did pray for those earlier on. So we encourage you to go back and listen to it if you weren't able to be on, and God will. We have people healed all the time from the recording, mm -hmm. so we encourage you to go back and listen to it. But there was someone on earlier, and I do not know your name, but you said North Texas is where you're from. And I actually felt like the Lord was saying that um, maybe like you're, you love fashion. I don't know if that's true, but there's actually an air of excellence about you that draws people to you, to the light of Jesus in you. And I don't know if you enjoy fashion or if you're in the fashion industry or you just like clothes. I don't know, but I feel like there's a level of excellence about you and that people are going to be drawn to you and it's actually going to be the light of Jesus in your life that they're drawn to and it's going to be an opportunity for you to share the goodness of God to your testimony and what God's done for you so if you're from North Texas and that's what you put in the chat that word is for you yeah uh, I have a word for Julie I'm not sure if you're on yet but uh, I heard the the Bible verse, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And so uh, in this war that you're in, in this battle that you're in, we just declare full restoration over you. We declare um, that the Lord will have his way, that no scheme of the enemy will prosper. No weapon formed against you will prosper in Jesus name. And uh, we declare uh, the full armor of God over you in every area of your life right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if your name is Michael and you're on here, I, I had a word for just any Michael on here. I heard that the Lord is releasing the answer and he was um, speaking to me out of Daniel when the angel of the Lord appeared and said, Daniel, from the moment that you started to pray, actually the angel was released. And I feel like the Lord just wants you to know that even if you're not seeing the manifestation of the answer, know that heaven has released the answer to what you've been crying out for. And I feel like there might even be an invitation, you can pray on this, but I feel like there might be an invitation to do um, a 21 day Daniel fast to just um, press in um, and just really seek the Lord in this time. If you've been seeking the Lord for a specific answer to something, um, I feel like there is an invitation to fast, but also just to know that heaven is answering you and that even angels are being released in answer to the prayers that you've been praying. So Michael, I bless you in Jesus name. Yeah, and Ronald from Waxahachie, Texas. I happen to know where that is. We're glad that you're <laughs> joining us. Um, and if for those of you watching, you can like, share, um, subscribe. It helps us be able to get in front of more people to be able to encourage them and just share what God's doing through Global Awakening. So we encourage you to do that. But Ronald, I don't know if you teach, like teach school or teach in your church. I don't know if you are, but I feel like there's a teacher grace on your life to be able to relay information in a way that people receive it. And I believe that the Lord is going to give you opportunities to step out and teach more, to be able to share the wisdom that you have, to be able to share the downloads that you have from the Lord, and that he's going to be opening up opportunities for you to teach. So if that confirms something for you, Ronald, put it in the chat. I'd like to know. I've got a word for rose. I actually saw the rose, a, a rose opening. And so, Rose, I just bless you um, as you, as the Lord opens doors for you right now in the name of Jesus. I declare doors opened uh, over you in the name of Jesus that um, places that 
I feel like you've been going down a blank hallway for a long time, and I feel like the Lord is just now opening a door. And I just want to encourage you that the time in the hallway has not been wasted. He wastes nothing. He gets you ready. And so uh, I just bless you that nothing that you that happened in the hallway will be wasted and that he is opening doors um, for you right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, I have a very funny word for Candy Lynn. Um, Candy, when I saw your name, I saw the Candy Land box. Is it Candy Land or Candy Lane? That that board Candy game, Land. Candy yes. Land. Um, and I actually, I was reminded of a funny story when my brother was really little. He actually stacked the deck so that he would instantly win the game of Candy Land. Um, <laughs> he stacked it so that when he flipped the card, he went right to the castle at the end. And I heard the Lord say in Candy that he has stacked the deck in your favor and I, I actually see him just kind of picking you up and carrying you across these obstacles I feel like there's some giants that are kind of screaming at you um, and that there's like fear coming but I see the Lord actually just picking you up and you're just bypassing all of them so I bless you candy and I bless what the Holy Spirit is doing in your life in Jesus name yeah, Candyland's a great game. My kids love one. it. <laughs> it's a great one. And Lauren, you said that was you from North Texas and that you've been praying about being a light. So I just believe that God is going to be drawing people to you and that you're going to have that opportunity that he's heard your heart's cry and he's going to give you the opportunity to be a light. And then Ronald, right below that, you put, I love teaching. So thanks for confirming that and be looking for the Lord to open more doors for you to be able to teach and share who God is to other people. So it's going to be a powerful time. We've got about three more minutes before we go into our lightning round to put your name where you're watching from in the chat. We do also have a book for you guys, for you though that have been walking with the Lord. This book is phenomenal. It's a devotional 365 days from Bill Johnson, How to Walk in the Miraculous Every Day. It'll be great to start off this year. And we always want to be here to give you ideas of things that will help equip you. This book is wonderful. You can order it on our website um, today. I have a word for, I lost your name, but um, it, you have a coffee roasting business in Mechanicsburg. And when I saw that comment, I just heard, in Mechanicsburg, as it is in heaven. And I'm not sure yeah. if you even have like a physical location for your coffee roasting business, um, but I saw like, um, I saw a coffee shop and I saw you actually hosting um, the presence of the Lord in your coffee shop. And I saw m miracles even breaking out in this coffee shop. So I, I bless you in Jesus name. And um, I just bless you as an ambassador of the kingdom of heaven that actually see you like engaging heaven and just pulling, just pulling heaven to earth, pulling heaven to earth right here in Mechanicsburg, that you're pulling heavenly blueprints into Mechanicsburg. So I bless you and I bless your business in Jesus name. Yeah, and I'm going to tag on to that um, for the coffee business. I actually feel it's more than just in Mechanicsburg. Mm -hmm. I feel it's not, maybe it's just international shipping of like distributing a great coffee to other places, selling it by the bag as a wholesaler. I don't know. Or maybe it's other locations of your coffee shop, but I feel like it's more than just in Mechanicsburg. Mm -hmm. Like as it's in heaven, as it's in Mechanicsburg, but I feel as it's in other places. So I believe there's an expansion coming for you. I believe that the Lord is on it. He's going to be breathing on it. He's going to be, it's not going to be by the power of man, by what you do. It's going to be through the breath of the Holy Spirit, not by might nor by power, but by his spirit. Amen. And so he's going to give you ideas on expansion because it's actually more than just the location or whatever you're doing in Mechanicsburg. It's bigger than that. Amen. Let us know what it is. Yes, let I us know. Because I would love to try this coffee. We love coffee. <laughs> uh, if you have been following along with us this month. We've been doing a vision challenge. And so I just wanted to highlight that once again. Um, we know it's not the beginning of the month, but it's still January. You still have time to go um, over this. You know, we talk about what was, what are the good things that happened last year? What's a verse that I can cling to uh, for this month or for this year? What's a word that I can cling to for this year? And uh, it highlights some different areas of our lives as well, spiritual life, family, um, service, finances, and workplace. You know, the more detailed we get, the more um, our vision can expand. And um, I just want to encourage you to go bigger than what you think you can accomplish in this year. Uh, you'd be surprised how much that the Lord can do in a year. Um, I know 
there's been times in my life where I, I shot too low um, one year because the Lord actually wanted to do so much more. So I just want to encourage you to fill that out. Uh, we would love to hear what some of those things are by um, posting on your social media using the hashtag uh, prophecy today vision. Uh, we would love to see those um, come through. So definitely put that in there and then uh, we gave you the QR code to download that as well. So uh, we just bless you to fill that out and um, to have a plan and a vision with the Lord for this year. Okay, well, we are going into the lightning round. It is that time. And so the last five minutes here, we're going to be prophesying over you guys in the lightning round just as fast and furious as we can. So put your name where you're watching from in the chat. The first word I have is from Joanna Wyrich and that you're opening a safe house for women. I actually saw you even like Harriet Tubman that did the Underground Railroad, that you're actually going to have a place that is um, a, a channel of connections of people that are like-minded. That's going to be a network of people people, that they're going to know that it's the safe place for people. They're going to be able to contact you and it's going to be so protected from the schemes of the enemy that the Lord is going to keep you hidden. And so I just want to bless you and what you're doing and that the Lord sees you. He has a plan. He has a network and he is already ahead of you um, laying out the groundwork for what you're going to need to do. Amen. Alfie Jean from Liverpool. I heard the Lord saying that you are shooting up in this season and I saw the healing anointing increasing on your life, just a gift of healing, miracle signs and wonders. So Holy Spirit, I pray that you would even just touch Alfie right now in Jesus mighty name. Yeah, Laura, I actually heard you're smarter than you think and you're wiser than you believe. And I believe that the Lord has actually um, whispered things to you that um, you think is normal, but actually you're wiser than you believe and you're smarter than you think. So I bless you with that. Yes, and Timothy from Canada, I want you to know um, that we are praying for you, and I actually just want to pray for your body right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up Timothy. Lord, we thank you for healing over his body, over his kidney, over his liver, over his every system in his body, Lord, that there would com be complete and total healing. Lord, I speak to his blood that it would flow flow with the the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for him that it would bring healing the heaven heaven's DNA throughout his whole body in Jesus name yes thank you Jesus Tara rumbled from Texas I saw the the word favor written over your forehead in gold and I saw the Lord stamping you with his stamp of approval it's like the favor of God is stamped on you and the favor of man is even increasing on your life in this season and I'm seeing like um, a newspaper right now with like these headlines and I, I hear the Lord calling you a headliner I feel like you're very um, humble you're not seeking the spotlight but that the Lord is actually going to put you in the spotlight he's going to make you the headliner because he actually wants you to be a voice for the kingdom so I bless you in Jesus name Jessica, I actually saw uh, you put lemons in the chat and uh, I heard it is what it is and, and then a just giant nope. And I feel like you are an atmosphere changer that people say it is what it is you know, it is what it is, but you're saying, actually, no, I come with solutions. I come with kingdom mindset. I come with the, the solution maker. I, I come with the change maker, the way maker. And so, um, I just bless you, um, to change atmospheres wherever you go. And it's, I think it's Kaylee and it's Shik Shinny. Pennsylvania? I don't even know if that's a place. It is. <laughs> it is. Okay. It is a place. That is sounds interesting, but I will just prophesy. I saw that you were almost like the life of the party, and I feel like there's friends that have betrayed you, people that have walked away from you, and the Lord is bringing community. He's bringing wholeness to your sphere of influence. He's bringing you godly friends that will stand beside you, and um, it's like you have such a big personality that God is bringing people that will be a compliment to you, and don't change who you are. God is bringing people that will appreciate the way he's designed you. Amen. And Charlotte from the Netherlands, um, I saw a picture of you like making chocolate. And like when you made this chocolate, you were kind of, it was like I saw it in like little heart shapes. And when people ate this chocolate, it was like they their heart came back to life. It's like this warmth just like flooded um, their souls, like that feeling you get when you eat chocolate. And I feel like the Lord is just releasing this anointing to you to see people's hearts just resurrected, to see just um, them encounter the love of God and to see just new life flood their hearts. So I bless you, Charlotte, in Jesus' name. 
Well, we appreciate you guys for being on this week. It is three o'clock. We have a very special guest coming next week. Uh, she'll be on. She's got an amazing prophetic voice. So I'm excited to have Amanda with us next week. We do also ask that you would consider partnering with us and what God has called us to do to be able to make these streams possible. You can go online. $10 a month, $25 a month, whatever the Lord puts on your heart to come alongside what Global's doing to equip and empower those believers across the world. So we bless you. We'll be praying for you and have a great week.